All right, so I haven't done any filming yet. So today I'm just gonna go and get the laundry and uh, go for a walk, find an outdoor gym. There's an outdoor gym somewhere. But first, I need to, oh, this is the apartment lobby, by the way. So first I need to get the laundry, which is over here. All right, got the laundry. Put it back in the apartment and then go. I'll film a proper intro in a second. Okay, so I'm walking up. This is Bansko in uh, Bulgaria. And I'm here for about a month or two. I have actually been here for a few days, but I haven't really filmed anything. I've just been relaxing and, uh, you know, exploring the place. I haven't actually gone on any hikes yet, but I'm planning on going on a lot of hikes uh, during this month. So yeah, it's actually a really cool place. There's um, lots of interesting cafes. It's all sort of spread out. Nice river there. Let's go and show you the river. And I'm looking for this outdoor gym today. Uh, body weight gym because I need to practice some pull-ups. So this is a river, pretty cool. I've already touched the water and I can confirm that it's really cold. And uh, yeah, interesting thing is there's loads of like dogs, you know, wild dogs uh, walking around the streets. And I think some of them have these little yellow chips in their ear, which means they have an owner, I believe. And the ones without the chips don't have an owner and they're at risk of, I think they, put them down or something if they get too aggressive however so I'm going all the way down here for about 10 minutes and then turn right and there should be a gym somewhere over there anyway so I think what I'll do for this video is I'm just gonna roll roll tape and yeah just let you see what it's like walking around Bansko never been to Bulgaria before I've never been to um, never actually been to any Eastern European countries before, so this is the first in many respects. It's obviously a ski town, lots of ski resorts and things, but in the summer, oh, that's going to interfere with the sound, isn't it? <laughs> what am I doing over there? Building a roof. Uh, yeah, in the summer, it's obviously like a hiking type destination like Chamonix, which is where I was last. Let's see what's down here. You can actually get down to the water. Let's have a look. I'm paranoid my, uh, my little headphone is going to fall out. Okay. So, this is the river. Yeah, really cool place. Uh, I'm going to try and film a bunch of videos tomorrow, I think. I'm going to go to a pool or a spa or something. I've already been to a spa and it's really cool, actually. Okay. Alright, onwards. to find this gym. So, there's actually several, there are actually several gyms here and the one I'm looking for is this body weight thing. There's like outdoor pull-up bars and uh, pull-down machines and things like this outdoor in this park. So I'm hoping it's going to be quite a nice place to work out. I haven't really done enough exercise. Well, I've been doing exercise, uh, you know, like yoga and things like that, but not any pull-ups, no, no bicep or back exercises, which is something I always forget to do when I travel. So what we're going to do today. I can't remember quite how far along this road I need to walk to get to this spa. Uh, however, I'm sure I'll find... There's lots of interesting statues as well. I'm sure I'll show you some of them as we go on. And the weather, as you can see, it's beautiful. Couldn't ask for uh, better weather for this trip. It was a bit cloudy yesterday, but when the sun is out it's actually really hot and you can get a good get a good tan that's what we're trying to do and yeah so bulgaria pretty cool place i think i actually have to cross this road 
and then carry on. I can't remember. Yeah, I think it's at the end of this road that I have to go to. Let's just go and have a look down here first. See what we have. Okay. Don't want to spend too long exploring that because I actually do want to go and get a workout done. Let's overtake here. Yeah, the food's pretty good. Mostly I've eaten in the apartment, but the restaurants that we've been to have been fairly good. About average price, I guess. Typically what you'd expect, you know, for between five and ten dollars per person, that sort of thing. However, the food was good. In terms of vegan options, didn't find that much. It's mostly vegetarian, you know, lots of, lots of cheese. And, uh, and dairy and things like that, but you know, what do you expect? Even in Chamonix, where I went to a few, a few days ago, a few weeks ago I should say, there wasn't many vegetarian uh, or vegan options. I just want to have a look at this river one more time. Ah, oh, it's so pretty. So in a few days I'm going to hike up to, there's a ski lift there, you probably can't see it, which I'm going to go up there and then along the mountain there. These higher mountains I think I need a tour guide for because they can be quite dangerous without one. And yeah, so I'm gonna look at the map now. I think it's somewhere up here, but I'll check. Yeah, so it's a bit further along. I need to go about five minutes that, that way. But first, I wanna, I wanna look at this bridge here. Ended up having to get some sunglasses. I never wear sunglasses, but the sun is so intense when, when it's actually out that I thought I should get some. So I've got these little polarized, they're pretty cool, I don't know. Yeah. There is actually a park there, but it's not a gym. It's just a kids play park sort of thing. So this is Bansko. So this river obviously comes from up in the mountains there and uh, so you can imagine the water is pretty cold and you can actually drink it I'm pretty sure so all right onwards let's go this way. Uh, yes this way So I'm not sure what to expect of this gym, this outdoor gym. I don't usually go to the outdoor ones uh, because they're usually quite busy, they're crowded, but I guess that's what you that's what you can expect because it's free. You know, if you go to a paid one, obviously less people, I imagine, would go there. Whereas a free one, anyone can go into. So yeah. For hotels, by the way, there's loads of hotels and they're actually really high quality, really good. I guess because in I guess because in peak season when everyone's skiing, this place is a lot busier. Uh, but at the moment, it's we're here in what's it now? August? No, uh, July. Sorry, July. So it's a lot less busy, and it, walking around the streets. We'll just wait for this, uh, this truck to go by. Walking around the streets, there's a lot less people uh, than there would be in peak season. Because peak season, obviously, everyone's skiing. All of the car parks and resorts are full, and uh, yeah. But as I'm, you'll, see, you'll see in some of the other videos I'm going to post, the uh, the main streets actually, all the shops are open, like all the you know the tourist souvenirs and everything like this. But there's almost no one walking around, so it's, a, it's kind of a bit weird. But yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Uh, there's obviously cheering on my vlog there. roadworks going on here. Interesting. So, this is the main, not the main street, sorry, this is the side street that I need to walk down to get to the gym. Uh, I don't think I want to go in, I was going to make a video going into a shop and seeing what's there, but I can't be bothered, I just want to go and work out. <laughs> 
maybe I'll do that in another video. Anyway, leave a comment letting me know what you think so far. Alright, let's go and see what's over here. I think actually this is the place I went to yesterday. Yeah, it does look kind of familiar. These statues and everything. I think one of these buildings, maybe this is, maybe it's this one, is the uh, like the town council. There was a good place for uh, pancakes actually somewhere near here. Just over there. So yeah, as I say, I've been here for a few, almost a week actually. All I've really filmed is uh, a quick spa video. That's all I've done. One thing I love about ski towns is you always have this really nice view in the background of uh, mountains and things. But yeah, as I say, this place is super quiet. Like, considering how many people live here. Super, super quiet walking around. I wish I knew more about these statues, like the meaning behind them. I don't know who this guy is. This is kind of modern though, this guy. 1942. All right, I'll check the map in a second. All right, I think we're near now. It looks like this is the park. Yeah, I think this is where we go. Guarantee it's gonna be super quiet as well. Yeah, this is the park. So the gym is somewhere in here. Let's go and find it. Might even have snack of some kind later. I think on the map it was towards the end of the park. So like further along in the corner. I never know whether to, to edit these bits where I'm just walking. Uh, it would be a quite a long video if I didn't, but at the same time maybe you guys want to see me walking around and see like me discovering the places as I see them. I don't know, let me know. Leave a comment, don't be scared. It looks like there's actually a, a dirt bike track here for, do, for doing uh, bike jumps. It's quite cool actually. Let's kind of see. Alright, so I haven't spotted the gym yet, but it's got to be somewhere in here, right? Ah. It might be over there but first. Let's look at this. No idea what this is supposed to be. I think actually this might, I know there's an ice rink somewhere near here and this might be the ice rink in winter. I have no idea though. It doesn't look like it's been used for a while. Or maybe it's just a lake, who knows. Who knows. This would be a great place to cycle, actually, as well. What's this? Some kind of festival? I don't know. So, where the gym is. It did look like it was in the corner on the map, but I don't know. I think I'm just going to enjoy the park before I worry about finding the gym. It's like another cafe over there. A group of walkers. What a lovely place. Ah, here we go. Here's the gym. So I think I'm going to put my headphones in for this one. Can't be bothered to talk during a workout. And yeah, see you over there. There's even pull-up bands. And this looks like quite a cool little gym in the forest. What a lovely place. Okay, let's go.
So yeah, pretty cool gym area. Got the um, gymnastic rings. Don't know what that's called. Kipper pull-up bar, I think. Kip, something like that. And uh, yeah.